unique medical nutritional value from this recipe today, but just for, wanted to talk about overall mental health awareness and wellness, and um, just wanted to get into that a little bit. Um, because, you know, food, and along with other hobbies, can really be used as a positive thing to kind of help you through tough times and use as a coping mechanism um, if you're feeling down. So just one thing I wanted to really highlight was it's okay not to be okay. I think as we have advanced as a society that um, we have become more able to talk about those things and talk about mental health and talk about depression or, or anything. And I think it's become less taboo of a topic in society. And I think even now that there's TV shows with main characters with mental health problems and, you know, and just sometimes people feeling down in those shows, I think it makes it a lot more approachable of a topic. Um, and, the, and I'm going to link below a couple resources for mental health and overall wellness. Um, but yeah, try to, you know, sometimes look um, and use things as coping skills to kind of help you get through the day, try to help you, um, you know, be positive, stay happy, and um, always reach out to people. It's really important, even if you don't have friends or family that are supportive. Um, a lot of the resources I'm going to link down below, like NAMI and uh, other mental health programs, really are looking out for you. So, you know, this, you know, we're going to make a nice pizza today for this recipe. It is also a hot sauce feature, um, so it's going to be a really exciting one, and um, maybe you can do some cooking too to help you feel better if you're feeling down, and um, don't hesitate to reach out to a doctor, professional, medical professional or anything if you're feeling down, and, and um, you know, it's okay to be okay. You know, being depressed um, or having anxiety is, you know, a clinical medical problem, just as if you had diabetes and you treat and you take medicine to treat that. Same thing when it comes to mental health. You know, there's a chemical imbalance in your brain, and there's nothing that you can really do. Um, you know, that to, to have that, you know, to have that, it's there. You know, you can do something to fix it, and and be on top of it, and take medicine to help. But it's not anything that's your fault that you have it. It's just the way that sometimes the genetics and the environment kind of work for you. So there's nothing to be ashamed of. And and I just wanted to point out and really talk about wellness for this video. I think it's a really important aspect of medical care. And as someone that's going into going into medicine and has a passion for psychiatry and mental health, even though that's not what I'm going to pursue, um, because it's you know not what I want to pursue in my career, but it's still something I'm really I can really care about. So um, yeah, so look at the stuff that I link in below if you ever feeling down. Um, and I'm trying to create a community here for everyone to feel at home and, and just to enjoy some recipes. So please continue to do whatever it is that you do to cope and. You know, experience happiness because we only have one life, so we want to take advantage of it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. And ahead, we have a nice hot sauce feature and a nice pizza to make you all happy and lively. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's going on? Snapshot Medical Kitchen here, and today we have another hot sauce feature. Uh, very excited about this one because it's a little different than the other sauces I've been tasting. You know, most of the ones are just traditional hot sauces with a specific pepper as the, as the forefront of the sauce. Whether it's a scorpion pepper sauce or just a regular hot buffalo sauce, whatever it is, this one's a little different because it's flavored to fit another cuisine. So this is the Pex Peppers Taco Fuego. Uh, so again, so it's a taco, so, ta taco style sauce, so it's gonna be a little bit different. What I'm gonna be using for that is we're making spicy chicken taco pizza. So, um, we're going to combine, you know, do a little Mexican-Italian fusion, and both using this sauce as kind of the base. Um, so we're going to make our own base for the pizza, a little different than a traditional pizza, and go ahead and use this sauce to flavor it. Um, what's nice about this sauce is when you think taco seasoning, you've, it's very heavy on like the cumin and, and the traditional, you know, stereotypical spices. But this sauce is a little different. It is uh, chipotle and garlic taco sauce. And the chipotle and the garlic really like are the forefront here. So it's kind of a different style taco. And it's actually delicious, not too hot, probably like a two or a three on the hot scale. So it's something that you can put a lot on to really take in that flavor. Especially with pizza where the dough, you know, is gonna bite through some of that hotness. So really nice flavor. It's gonna be perfect for this pizza recipe. I hope you guys go and support Pex Peppers and hope you enjoy. So once the chicken is pretty much fully cooked, without seasoning, because again, the sauce is really where we want to let it shine through the chicken, so we don't really need any other seasoning, especially salt. You don't want to add that extra salt, you know, especially with blood pressure problems. So 
no need to season the chicken, especially if you're adding a little bit of the sauce. So when it's fully cooked, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of the sauce to let the chicken kind of sit in it and absorb some of that flavor. And we're also going to use this sauce as part of the base of the pie. So don't worry, a lot more flavor is still coming on this pie. All right, so for you know traditional pizza, you're going to have marinara sauce as your base. That kind of doesn't really make sense for a taco style pizza. But if I were to just use the pex pepper sauce, it'd be a little too liquidy. You know, if you put pour a little bit on just to show you, it's, it's a little too liquidy. It's not as thick as a traditional marinara sauce. So we're going to add a layer of sauce, and then we're going to add a layer of salsa on top just to kind of create that thickness of a, and try to replicate uh, you know, a traditional feel of a marinara, marinara sauce while using Mexican style, taco style ingredients.